See this white car I was leaning on? This was her car! <gasps> This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Oh. Do you ever find yourself coming up with the strangest ideas? Ones that you know are weird, but you've just got to continue them for the meme. Maybe you'd have something weird to put out there at the family dinner table. Guys, I'm pregnant. What? <gasps> Kidding. Haha. <laughs> These bangers are splendid, mama. Or perhaps you have an unusual artwork idea? I call this artwork Jusica. <laughs> or maybe you've just seen literally every five minutes crafts video. You definitely know that some ideas just shouldn't be made. On that note, pull up a chair, watch my odd but fun adventure where I take a hundred Polaroids in a day of a chicken leg. So, uh, I've got a confession to make. <clears throat> I have a weird infatuation with chicken leg related merch. Don't at me. To prove this point, I've literally had this plushie for years. And as some of you may have seen in a previous video, this little wooden one here. So, one morning, I woke up. I want to get a Polaroid camera to take a hundred Polaroids in a day for a fun creative challenge. But of what? I remember watching the whole Polaroid phase take place several years back and I felt like this could be my chance to finally get involved. I had to make this dream a reality. After a day of online searching, I happened to find the perfect camera for a pretty cheap price on the Facebook marketplace. This is it. It's an Instax Mini 8 in pastel pink that also comes with a handy bag with these cute ice creams on it. Stylish. If I'm being completely transparent with you guys, this 100 Polaroids in a day challenge was actually inspired from another challenge I did a few years back when visiting the UK and France. For all my friends back home, I took photos of everywhere I went. Bag searches from flight security were super awkward. However, the star of this video isn't a successful wrestler slash unsuccessful actor. Thanks. It's this beautiful chicken leg. Yes, look at that realistic detail. If you're wondering why Look, I don't know. <laughs> I found it in a clearance bin in Typo for one dollar and we've been inseparable since. Not kidding, it's been hanging up in my room for so long now, I think it's time it gets the attention it deserves. <laughs> so a list was created for what was needed to achieve the goal. It consisted of Polaroid camera, the chicken leg, the bag for the camera, a tripod, my phone, a mask, my Jelly Jess hoodie, a container, a bag to hold everything, and of course, a hundred blank Polaroids. I packed 90 regular white ones and 10 of these sparkly confetti glitter ones. These will be very special and I'll explain why later in the video. It was early morning and I woke up ready to tackle the challenge ahead. The chicken leg woke up too, eager to get out there and begin his career as a supermodel. This would be too hard to do in public and by myself without the help of a familiar face. This is Shannon. She has been in a handful of stories on my channel throughout the years. We had a long drive to our desired location, many hours on the road in fact, so we decided to get some cheeky McDonald's drive through for the road. I'm coming at you today. Hi, just wondering, do you still have the ham and cheese pockets? No, sorry, we don't sell them anymore. Do you still have the Nutella pancakes? No, we also don't sell them also. <laughs> I don't know what to get. Do you want a hash brown? I don't like hash browns. <laughs> you got a pig, what do you want? <laughs> Sorry, are you there? Yep. Uh, can I please have a medium chocolate frappe? We're fixing the machine at the moment. Sorry, we can't do that one. <laughs> okay, that's alright. I'll just drive through. Well, that <laughs> sucks. <laughs> well, we had to try again somewhere else. Can I have a device today? Hi, can I please have a medium chocolate frappe? Medium chocolate frappe. Uh, can I also get the Nutella hotcakes? Nutella hotcakes. Do you still do the ham and cheese pockets? Yeah. Uh, can I please have one of those as well? Yeah. Is that all for today? Oh, can I have two of those, sorry? Yeah, that's okay. And just a medium mocha. A medium mocha. And just one hash brown as well. And one hash brown. <laughs> Yep. Okay, that's everything. Thank you. You're up to Yeah! Success! 
I love my hash browns. Here's a quick Macca's brekkie haul, yay! Very cute. Nutella hotcakes. Yeah, yay! Yeah. Back on the road again, this is probably a good time to explain my game plan. Since there are a hundred Polaroids, I'm going to be splitting it up by going to 10 different places, taking 10 photos in each location. Also just to clarify here, wearing a mask in public isn't mandatory. I'm just wearing mine to, you know, not do a face reveal randomly. And just like that. You have arrived at your destination. <laughs> this reminds me of like, Kelly Tubbies. <laughs> like the hill. Yeah. <laughs> He's my son. <laughs> what better way to start off the day by taking chicken leg pictures at a park? Some of the shots consisted of a bench, Dwayne the Rock Johnson, a bridge, a swing, a tree, a drinking fountain, etc. etc. Hey. My favourite pick from this location would have to be on this iconic playground spring horse. I legit had to wait my turn for this because a toddler was hogging it. However, once he got off, he actually got jealous of us using it. Also, if you guys like the mask I'm wearing or the beautiful case that is on my phone, these are available on my Crowdmade store so you can have them too. Next up was the iconic Aussie store, Bunnings Warehouse. Bunnings Warehouse, lowest prices are just the beginning. <laughs> I've talked about them a lot in a previous video, but basically they are a god tier store for any person who wants to build or plant something. The large selection of plants called to us first. Here he is enjoying the fresh air. I like to call this one, spot the chicken leg. And this one, silence of the lamps. Um, <laughs> winner, winner, chicken dinner. Okay, that's enough. We ended up finding a tiny trolley meant for kids. And now us. It was a perfect opportunity. To end off this chapter, I couldn't leave the store without getting a classic bunning snag. And I slopped tomato sauce all over my shirt. Nice. We got a bit thirsty, so once again, Maccas. We then picked up a special guest, another familiar face from the Jelly Jess channel. Ta-da! In the past, she's been referred to as Angel in the videos. We were on our way to a more exciting location now called Holy Moly, a fun and unique putt-putt golf course. We got our coloured golf balls and it was time to play. Luckily, it wasn't too busy when we were there, but we did let a group of guys overtake us because it would have been a little weird for them to be behind us while we're doing this. Here's me taking a pic of the chicken leg on the famous Simpsons couch and him being festive. Some of the holes were pretty difficult, like this one because the flooring was very uneven, while others were based on pure luck, like this Games of Thrones chair. Oh yeah, can't forget him. <laughs> that was the biggest fluke of my life. My friends uh, weren't so lucky. These are the results, woo! Straight after Pup Pup, we headed over to Strike for some more fun. 10 pin bowling. Angel and Shannon are literally out here with talent. Then there's me. I am the gutterball queen. Between the action, we of course got the chicken leg photos when the opportunities presented themselves. We got some with the balls, the pusher thing, on the floor, which I had to lay down to get the perfect shot. Yes, people were staring at me. Hmm, wonder why. But listen, I have to talk about this particular photo. You see the chicken leg? No? What if we zoom in a little closer? I caught the exact moment it fell off the platform. Just look at this great tragedy. These were the results, woo! The fourth location was Time Zone, AKA the popular chain of arcades across Australia. This place is filled with heaps of games such as traditional throwing ones, basketball, dance dance revolution, and there was even a VR headset for rabbits. Like what? We played some games. 
quite intense. Shannon tried her luck too many times on the claw machine. The Toy Story alien dressed as Randall is not coming home with you. No! And of course, it was time for him to shine. Yes, work it. I can't play it, but the background music when taking these was Yeah by Usher. I think it really helped his confidence. <laughs> We actually broke boundaries for one picture, which we physically placed it in this shooting game. It was worth it. It was time to say adios and move on to our next destination. And quickly, before the workers question what we were doing, we had achieved so much throughout the day already and the clock struck 3 p.m. We were starving. Luckily, our next stop was KFC. I thought it was a really fitting setting for the little guy. We decided to get the mixed feast deal as we thought it would be good for photo opportunities and would still feed the three of us. We strategically sat in a booth seat to avoid prying eyes too. A good move. Here's us assembling a masterpiece here. Mamma mia! Beautiful. What a nice diorama shot going on here. My year two teacher would be so proud. My favorite shot from here would have to be the little fella sitting patiently on a tiny stool. Aww. It looks so stupid, but so good at the same time. Now for a sudden change of scenery. Let's go to the beach, eat. <laughs> no, stop. The time we went, it was a little overcast with not a lot of sun out. So it was starting to get a little chilly. Here's some photos we took of him buried in the sand, in the wall with shells, a very mossy rock, having a bath and with the lifeguard flag. Here's me taking a picture of it laying on the sand with shells. The water was was freezing, but I had to stay committed to get the perfect shot, right? To speed things along, we smashed out another set of photos in the same location, taking pictures of the chicken leg with the sky. There's not a whole lot I can talk about for this one as it was pretty simple. It kind of looks like we're taking a selfie with the chicken leg. Angel held the leg in majority of these shots because she's a lot taller than me, so that definitely helped in the photo taking process. I love the look of these Polaroids because the sky actually looks real pretty in the background. Remember how I said that I have these special confetti Polaroids? Hold the phone. It is now time to reveal their purpose. For this next category, all 10 photos will have me in them with the small boy chicken leg in front of some nice, colorful street art. Once again, if you like the merch I'm wearing, it too is available on my Crowdmade store. We didn't have a specific location in mind for this. We just aimlessly roamed the streets until we found some nice graffiti. The first few were taken in this car park that looked like it was across from a conference building. Turns out it was around knockoff time for the workers. I couldn't really see much when wearing this mask, but according to the girls, some people were staring pretty intensely. I mean, why wouldn't they? One lady awkwardly smiled at us when she was driving away too. We found this cool piece of a bull, this colorful one, and then we came across another massive car park where we took the rest of the photos. I wish we had this filmed, but literally a few seconds after this picture was taken, a lady actually approached us asking if we had lost anything. She was probably so sketched out, wondering why three girls were randomly in a car park for real estate workers dressed like this. Our response was like, oh no, we are just looking at the art. See this white car I was leaning on? This was her car. <laughs> I don't think she saw that part, but she was probably a little concerned nonetheless. Here's some more behind the scenes of some shots and boom, all done. That only leaves one more location on the checklist. To end off the video and complete the challenge, how could we not go to Kmart? Many shelves were filled with the same squeaky pig toys. Sizzling! We got him shredding on a skateboard, trapped in a ball cage and in a truck. My favorites would have to be the toddler truck we found abandoned and on this taped off caution cone in the corner. There was a whole family who witnessed that one. And just like that, a hundred Polaroids were taken of this little wooden chicken leg.
How dumb. I'd like to thank my mum, Chicken Leg, Randall, the fry pan, the gutter balls, the random lady in the car park. If it wasn't for you, this wouldn't have been possible. What could somebody possibly want with a hundred Polaroids? Well, kind sir, I have a... Can I have one? As a matter of fact, you... Yay! Can. And you can find out how to get one of these bad boys completely for free, no matter where you live, by hearing today's video sponsor. You guessed it, Squarespace. Squarespace is an amazing platform for building your own website and solidifying your personal brand. I have once again switched up my own website at the Club, transforming it into a place where you can claim one of the hundred Polaroids shot throughout this video. All you need to do is fill out the form with the relevant information and the first 100 people will receive one of the Polaroids as well as a little handwritten card. And those special shiny Polaroids? The lucky recipient of those will also get a wobbly boy charm handmade by me all for free. To create this version of the site, I used one of Squarespace's form integration options. They have so many to choose from, so no matter what the purpose may be, there will always be an option to have you covered. To give the website some nice imagery, I've added displays of all 100 Polaroids. This was even easier to do. I just created my images and uploaded them to the website directly. I decided to apply them onto a page itself rather than in a gallery like last time, so you guys can see them all at once. Because there's so many of them, I think it has a really aesthetically pleasing effect. And can't forget the little social media icons which I've put up at the top of the page. Setting these up was just a matter of choosing which platforms to display, then pasting my account's link inside. Super simple stuff, but really effective. To get started with your own website, head over to squarespace.com for a free trial, and then when you're ready to launch, you can visit squarespace.com slash jellyjess to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Thank you guys so much for going on this weird, dumb journey with me. My little chicken boy is super exhausted and is now sitting safely back on the shelf where he belongs. Drop some chicken leg emojis in the comments forum if you've made it this far in the video. He deserves it. <laughs>